So many essential oils and plant extracts actually come from the plant material. Those are considered what are uh, called natural materials, or, or essential oils or absolutes. These are actual plant materials that you can extract the scent from. Mm -hmm. So for example, like this is just a common jasmine. Oh yeah. In jasmine and in orange blossoms, they're considered a narcotic scent. Meaning the scent mean? brings about a euphoria. The oh, scent okay. brings about um, kind of a narcotic scent. When you extract, say, rose oil or jasmine, you need hundreds and hundreds of, of petals, if not thousands and thousands and thousands of petals, to create a very small amount of okay. material, which makes it outrageously expensive. Yeah, yeah. And that's one of the biggest questions that people have about uh, scent, perfume, or raw materials, or essential oils, is why are some very expensive and why mm -hmm. are some not expensive? For example, I brought the, the rose and the jasmine in particular are two of the most expensive essential oils available on the market. Because if you were to take a fragrant rose um, and take just the petals, you need a room about this size to make about that much Ooh. essence. So this is a large room. Yeah. You need a very large, um, a huge amount of rose petals. So that explains the price. So some ingredients like orris root butter, which uh, a very small amount could be thousands and thousands of dollars. But again, very small amount yeah. has a dramatic yeah, effect. Yeah, yeah, of course. But a lot of synthetic material is actually created from petroleum. Oh. And from crude oil. So scientists have determined a way to actually break down the crude oil into specific molecules. So what I wanted to show you is a, a couple of the variants of where the essences come from, where the molecules come from, how they uh, smell on their own, but also how they can be mm, synthetically made to kind of recreate what nat nature has made. Oh. Hexanol cis-3 or cis-3-hexanol. Benzyl acetate. And indol. Indol is also found in um, different types of decaying matter, um, including um, flowers and plants, but also uh, animal flesh. So on some level, the indol creates a very animalistic or very humanistic scent. Mm -hmm. um, some people have even equated it to uh, the smell of food. <laughs> have you ever heard of like um, eau de toilette, eau de yeah, parfum? Yeah, 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 yeah. Each of those uh, delineate how much alcohol to how much essence. Mm -hmm. So uh, if you have an aftershave or a splash, it has the most alcohol and water okay. to essence. Um, an eau de parfum, which is usually more expensive and sold in the very tiny bottles, it has more essence to alcohol. Okay. So generally speaking, an eau de parfum, which is very expensive, very strong, would have about 25 to maybe 40% at the very top, 40% essence oh, wow. to the rest That's alcohol. Okay. Where an aftershave um, would have maybe 4 to 5% essence to the rest alcohol and water. That, that explains the price. 